Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. She lived with her wicked stepmother and two selfish stepsisters. Cinderella, your face is dirty. I am dirty since I sleep on the floor beside the fireplace. You have a lot of clothes. You should share them with Cinderella. No way! Why don't you do that? Cinderella is only a poor girl. You are dirty. Cinderella, you should help us do the housework. Why don't you love me? They treated Cinderella very badly. They made her do all the hard work. Did you make breakfast? Yes, breakfast is ready. How can I do all the housework? But nobody else can do that. Wash the dishes, scrub the floors. You should clean out the bedrooms. They're very dirty. Once you finish your work, you can rest. I am busy all day. One day, the prince decided to hold a royal ball and invited all the ladies in the kingdom. I want to invite all the girls in the kingdom to go to my party. There will be lots of cakes at the ball. I hope to meet a lovely girl at the ball. I'll meet a kind lady and ask her to marry me. One morning, the prince's invitation letter was sent to Cinderella's house. Look, we are invited to the prince's ball at the palace. Wow, they will have ice cream at the ball. And candy, too. May I go to the ball? People would laugh to see a dirty girl at the ball. I will wear my red velvet dress. I will wear the most beautiful dress. I wish I could go too. The stepmother made a to-do list for Cinderella so that she couldn't go to the ball. You may go as soon as you get all your work done. Yes, mother. I will do my work. The night of the ball has arrived. The stepmother and stepsisters went to the ball, leaving Cinderella alone at home. Have a great night working, Cinderella. Goodbye, Cinderella. Hurry up, or we will be late. I can't go to the ball. I have no dress. My face is dirty. Tell me everything that you see at the palace. The fairy godmother, who saw Cinderella in tears, suddenly appeared and wanted to help her. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. Don't worry. I will help you go to the ball. But I have nothing to wear. I can't go to the ball. What do you want from me? Go into the garden and pick a golden pumpkin. I really want to be there. As you wish. The fairy godmother touched the pumpkin and two mice with her hand. They turned into a beautiful coach and two healthy horses. The fairy godmother changed Cinderella's old clothes into a beautiful new gown, and she gave Cinderella a pair of glass slippers. You look lovely, dear. It's amazing! You look lovely, but you need one more thing. This is the most beautiful pair of glass slippers in the world. That's perfect. Thanks so much. 
Now Cinderella was ready to go to the ball. The fairy godmother warned Cinderella that she must return home before midnight. Remember that you must leave the ball before the clock strikes twelve. At midnight, the magic ends. I won't stay too long. Don't forget midnight. I won't. At the ball, everyone was struck by Cinderella's beauty, but they didn't know who she was. The prince came and made friends with Cinderella. May I have a dance with you? Yes, of course. Your party is so great. Thank you. How beautiful she is! Nobody knows who she is. I think I have seen her somewhere before. I wonder who she is. It's a crowded party. I'm embarrassed. Cinderella had such a wonderful time that she forgot her fairy godmother's warning until the clock began to strike. Ah! I've had a lovely evening, but I have to go now. Wait, princess. I don't even know your name. May I see you tomorrow? There is no time to explain. She ran out of the palace. In a hurry, she left one glass slipper on the palace stairs. Oh no, my slipper! Wait, please, wait for me. I wonder if I know her family. Tomorrow I will find her. A few days later, the prince announced that he would marry the girl whose foot fits in the slipper. I shall marry the beautiful girl whose foot fits the slipper and only her. I will never be content until I find her. Wherever she is, my love will find her. She is the girl of my dream. The next day, the prince went to Cinderella's house. The two stepsisters tried the glass slipper, but it was too small for them to wear. Why doesn't it fit me? The prince will never marry you. No one is more suitable with this slipper than my daughters. You, Cinderella, do you realize what you just said? I think I met that girl somewhere. All your daughters are able to try the slipper. Cinderella tried on the glass slipper, and it fit her perfectly. The prince recognized Cinderella and asked her to marry him. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Congratulations! I can hardly believe my eyes. I'm happy you recognized me. Let's go to my palace, and we will live happily ever after.